Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you're all okay. This vlog is a little bit different because I have got new gadgets, if you like, and you may be able to tell the difference in quality already, you may not. Let me know if you, tell, if you can tell the difference straight away. But rather than using a uh, dash cam 402G for the outwards display, I'm using a GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition. And rather than using the GoPro Hero 3 Silver Edition face and knee, I'm using another GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition. So I've got two GoPro Hero 5s in action, both facing me and facing outwards. So hopefully the quality of this vlog is going to be a lot better. And um, yeah, hopefully it's all going to be good. Now, <clears throat> there is another trucker vlogger out there who also uses a GoPro Hero 5 and um, in terms of sound issues it's, there have been a few comments saying it's not great so that was one thing I was worried about um, using a microphone for the GoPro Hero 5 because there is no such thing as far as I'm aware I haven't actually properly looked yet but I didn't want to use the internal microphone on the GoPro Hero 5 because it's, it's not great it's nowhere near as good as what my content have, has been in the past so, I don't know whether you can tell, but I should sound alright because I am using the mic. But it's actually hooked up to my GoPro Hero 3, uh, which is right here. So my GoPro Hero 3 is recording, and I'm using that purely for an audio source, which, which I then sync up um, with this video, so it's all synced up together. So yes, hopefully um, everything is going to work out good. Today we're going to Perfleet, so we've got to go uh, M3 onto the M25, go round anti-clockwise to Dartford Tunnel, and then get off on the A13. We're on the A13 for about a mile, turn left, and then we're on Perfleet Bypass, that's where we're going. We're going to DHL Global Forwarding. Been there before. Last time I was here, I was there for two hours before they even started tipping me, and then I was there for another two hours. I was there for at least four hours in total. It was a really boring day. <laughs> um, so let's hope I'm not there that long today. But yes, hopefully, um, hopefully you're going to enjoy this content. Just to put, for you, all you geeks out there who want to know the stats, what I used to do is film in 1080p, 30fps. Whereas these two GoPros allow me to film in 1080p, 60fps. Um, well, actually, they, they would allow me to record in 120fps if I wanted to, which means I can do slow motion. But um, I'm going to record in 60 fps, uh, 60 fps because when I come to rendering the video, it's going to be rendered in 60 fps as well. So um, yeah, that's really cool. And I, I do plan on doing some slow motion stuff in the future, but it's not going to be a massive part of it. Just slow motion of the traffic and stuff. Depends on where I am, where I go, what I'm doing. But you do get some awesome shots of slow motion while using the GoPro Hero 5. Have a look at Kev T's channel, his last vlog, he had some slow motion in there. And that was, uh, it actually looks fantastic. In, in actual fact, it was his footage that made me think, yes, I'm going to go get a GoPro Hero 5. And then I ended up getting two instead of one. <laughs> in terms of cost, uh, they cost me £300 each. Um, I got them from Kuro's PC World, so I spent 600 quid in there yesterday. Uh, I took photo, uploaded them to Facebook, and then someone told me that they were for 250 quid on Amazon. So I could have got them £100 cheaper, but I'm one of these people who, when I want something, I want it now, and I'll go get it now. I don't like waiting for something. I really hate waiting. I hate waiting, I hate planning. I just, I'm spur of the moment sort of guy. I just want to do it, want to get it. So I just went to Curious and got it. So, two GoPro, Hero 5s, Black Edition, capable of recording in 4K as well. But uh, I'm, only, I'm only going to be recording in 1080p, 60 FPS, or 1080p, under 20 FPS, if you want to do slow motion. So hopefully you enjoy. I'll see you a little bit later when it's a little bit lighter out because I am aware that you probably can't see me. But uh, yeah, catch you in a bit. Right, so we have now been driving for four hours and nine minutes. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, you can only drive for four and a half hours before you need to have a break. So I, I've only got 21 more minutes worth of driving time left before I need to stop and have a 45 minute break. 21 minutes. I'm six minutes away from where I need to be, so that's worked out quite nicely. We're just going through Dartford Tunnel now, as you can see. We're just about to come out the other side. Here we go.
we are clear. So I'm going to try and use the left-hand side of the tunnel a little bit more when I need to come off sooner because on the other side of the road, the carriageway, which is where I was last time, I crossed over and apparently not supposed to, so naughty me. So lesson learned. You, you make mistakes, everyone makes mistakes, don't they? And then you learn from them. So, but that's a 15-9 bridge uh, tunnel and I can get under a 15-9 with a large container on, so I should be fine in the future. Yeah, we've got to come off here. We're going to Perfleet. So, not far. Thurrock Services. That might be somewhere I need to stop in the future. If I've ever got to come to London. I come in this way normally. Stop at Thurrock Services. I bet it's expensive though, what of it being close to London. So, as I mentioned earlier, I bought my two GoPros yesterday from Curious PC World. And I, when I was in there, <laughs> I was getting a couple of dirty looks from people who were there when I was working there. Bear in mind, this was two years ago now that I quit from Curious PC World, and I was still getting dirty looks from people like, just get over yourselves. I quit. I left you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I left you. Doesn't matter if you don't like me. You don't have to give me dirty looks just because I left the company. But yeah, I was getting some dirty looks. And then there was um, one guy, I'm not going to say his name, but um, I worked with him in a different store, um, in the Chippenham store, because I quit from the, from the Swindon store. But um, I worked with this other guy in the Chippenham store, and he, he started talking to me. And I spoke to him, and he was like, yeah, some, some people don't got it, some people don't have it. I was like, well, no, I had it, I just didn't want to do it anymore. Not that I didn't have it, I just didn't want to do the job anymore. The money wasn't worth it for the stress and aggro that I was getting. It was just pain in the bottom. Like, I've, I felt like I told him, I felt like I was forced to move to the Swindon store because it was a, a pay rise and it was a promotion and I felt like I was pressured to, to move to the Swindon store even though I actually still lived in Chippenham at the time. So I had to travel to Swindon to get to work the two or three weeks that I worked there and then I woke up in the morning and quit one day I said no nah, I'm not doing it and I told him I said i had gone from making one thousand pound a month if I'm lucky to making nearly three thousand pounds a month so I mean you tell me have I got it now yes I do <laughs> but yeah no I uh, didn't like the way he was saying some people don't have it because not that wasn't the case. I had it. I was a good salesman. Just a lot of stress it was. Anyway, that's enough moaning. I'm happy with my job that I got now. Thoroughly happy. Ugh. Right, we've got to go right round this roundabout. Like I said, I've been here before, so I know where I'm going. The security guard on the gate last time was a miserable git. Miserable git. I had to sign in. And... Um, yeah, he wouldn't, he wouldn't happy. You going left? Yeah. Go around here. Some laybys up here for future reference as well, but I suspect they get busy quite quickly. Laybar on the left. So my plan is to um, start editing this vlog while I'm here, actually. Whack the files on the computer, start editing it, see what it looks like. I had a little play yesterday and I know um, that it does look pretty good in 60 FPS, so um, hopefully, what with the moving traffic as well, it's gonna look really good. Just gotta sync up the mic, that's the new problem now. Sync up this mic, it's gonna make things ever so slightly longer. And talking of longer, the editing process is going to be longer as well now because, oh, not the editing process, but the rendering will take longer because um, obviously I was doing it in 30 FPS and now it's 60 FPS, so it's literally twice as many frames to render. Come on then, mate, if you're going in there, go in there.
do, 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 do. Just waiting for these, this traffic to clear so I can go on in. And this security guard is going to want to take some details off of me. Right, so I'm going to have to stop recording now while I'm in here and probably see you when I'm actually on the bay. Right, so we've reversed up onto the bay now and uh, matey boy has just said um, oh, I've just got to wait for clearance before we release it, before we can cut it. I was like, so you said that last time, I was here for two hours before you cut it and I was here for another two hours once the door's open, so is that going to be today as well? He said, oh, it depends if the system's down. So <laughs> I could be here for a while. Who knows? All I know is I'm getting a break in. Good thing about having a dedicated microphone going into a dedicated source, which is what I tried doing in the first place, is it means I can get around the cab without having to worry about um, the wire or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. I don't even know if you can actually see me. Let's just put you up here, look. So I do plan on doing more camera angles soon because I got a pane of glass up here, which not a lot of trucks have, which means I can put another camera up there and film me while I'm driving. Anyway, I want to tidy up a little bit in my cab. It's a little bit messy. Let's fold up that hoodie. Let's fold up my high vis. So, I'm not going to move now until I get a knock at the door telling me to move. That's just a little bit of food which can go in here. My boss, hopefully, is going to be setting this up for me. Hopefully, very soon. And the plan is to have it somewhere here, I think. But maybe there. It looks it might look quite nice up there. So I don't know exactly yet what I'm going to do. It's going to go somewhere. But where it's going to go, I do not know. So I'll be getting up, set up sooner or later. And, uh, yeah. Now I just need to chill out. I'll be here for a while. Let's get my MacBook out. Do, do, do. Do some editing on that in a sec. And let's do some spray. Let's make it smell nice in here. Woo! It's going to smell like Febreze air. Blossom and breeze. Blossom and breeze. There we go. Let's spray some of that. Jammy Dodger, anyone? Got some Jammy Dodgers. Hmm. So yeah. Time to chillax. Right, so we're just leaving now. Do I need to sign out as security? I think we're all good to go, aren't we? Again, bother and getting out. So we're good to go. Right, so, um, yeah, we are now leaving. We got here at, there's quite a lot of traffic coming. Yeah, we got here at um, half past eight, and it's now 11 o'clock. So two and a half hours, so it's not too bad. Oh, it's gonna take me ages to get out of here. Long coming now. Uh, might be able to go. Yeah, I can get out of it. Yeah, so two and a half hours was too bad. So um, now we're going to head back to Southampton. And as usual, I got no idea what it is exactly I'm going to be doing. Might be out tonight, or I could be doing another run, or I could be going home. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But um, what I do know is that I've had a look on the internet and I can get an adapter for the GoPro Hero 5, which is what's recording me now. And um, I can use that adapter to plug in this microphone that I'm using right now. So I've just been and bought one of them. It has cost me £35. And the reviews aren't great. 
a lot of reviews are saying that actually it's um, when it's bumpy and stuff that sometimes the audio cuts out but I bought it anyway knowing that there have been issues with it and if it is the case then I'll return it and say it's faulty not fit for purpose right so we've just um, spoken to the planners they wanted me to go out to Evesham and um, do a trailer drop and swap but I won't have enough time to get up there I've done four and a half hours this morning uh, by the time I get to the docks I'll be on two and a half hours and then soon when we're in the docks for half an hour that'll be three hours so three hours plus four and a half hours is seven and a half hours um, which means I've only got an hour and a half drive time left or if I go into a ten hour drive it'll be two and a half hours um, it takes two and a, well, just over two and a half hours to get up there so um, by the time I swap the trailer around and move around and things like that I'm gonna go over driving time so I've said I'm not gonna have enough time to get up there <coughs> so unfortunately can't do that today I haven't got any driving time if we were based in Southampton then it'd be different but because I've had to come down from Swindon first this morning then go all the way to Dartford come all the way back to Southampton again and then they want me to go all the way up past Cheltenham to be on to the M5 I just haven't got enough drive time so I can't do it unfortunately so what they've given me now is um, a Bristol so and it's booked for the morning so what I'm gonna do now is get this container off we're on our way to the docks now grab this container off get a new one put on and then um, go back to our yard where we can uh, then deliver to Bristol in the morning and normally when we do a Bristol we then do a an Evesham again so we'll uh, we'll see we'll see whether that's gonna actually happen we won't know until until tomorrow unfortunately so yeah let's um, go get loaded and then we need to make our way back up towards our yard and refill up with fuel as well just so we got enough in case we've got to do a night out for a couple of days all right we are loaded uh, we got loaded for Bristol in the end like I said um, and we've actually traveled all the way from Southampton and we're actually now coming off the M4 at Swindon so um, that's good everyone always defaults to the right hand side lane on this roundabout but you can go round on the left hand side lane unless those lights change yeah we shall stop here yes so um we're messing around with the GoPros a little bit it's obviously they're brand new I'm still experimenting with them you might have seen some differences in this vlog they've um the GoPro itself has got loads of different so the GoPro just this one here just unexpectedly uh, unexpectedly rather just turned off at the roundabout I'm not entirely sure why I think it's because voice control was on and I said the word GoPro and then maybe to stop and I think that's why it stopped recording um, for those of you who don't know these GoPros are voice activated so you know, I can just say GoPro start recording and it does record but um, yeah <laughs> just talking naturally and just stop recording so that's not good I have to be careful what I say so um, yeah what I was trying to well I don't even know what I was trying to say can't remember what I was saying <laughs> um, once again I am short on drive time I've only got 29 no 19 sorry 19 more minutes left of drive time I've got to be parked up in 19 minutes to have a 45 minute break luckily my yard is 18 minutes away so I'm hoping I can get back to my yard um, before I need to stop and have a break. The sat nav itself, um, I know I can beat it when I get through quick laid. Uh, the time it adds a bit of extra time on for no reason. So I'm hoping a minute or two will be uh, will be saved going through quick laid. But worst case scenario, I could be on a 45 minute break a mile away from my yard. <laughs> um, I also do need to fill out the fuel. I've got two options, I can either fill up today on the way to the to work in which case I will definitely go over driving time and I will definitely need a 45 minute break or I can fill up in the morning when I come back and go towards Bristol because I've got to get the fuel um, in Stratton so I've got to go past it tomorrow morning anyway so I'm thinking just get it tomorrow morning um, and try and get back before I run out of drive time that's the plan, I'm going to get over into lane 2 now because a lot of traffic comes on here from lane one and then they're slow moving because they're going up an hill. It was clear to go. Just 
just Mr. Raw ML, please don't break. So yeah, the GoPros themselves, oh, that's what I was trying to tell you. So the GoPros themselves, they've got different wide angle lenses um, and you can change the setting on them and you can have, I think it was uh, linear, normal, wide and super wide. I think there's a zoomed one as well. And obviously, um, the wider the angle, the lens, the more sort of fish-eyed it looks. Now at the start of the vlog, I was using wide on this one, but now I've gone down to normal. And on the dash cam that I'm using, it was on super wide and now I've gone down to wide. So I've lowered both steps by one, just to see what they look like, because I need to mix and match so that I can get the best, best look, if you know what I mean. So the problem with the super wide, which is what I had on this morning, is um, you've seen cars, as soon as cars go past me in my wing mirror, they're pretty much on the dash cam already on the GoPro over there. So it does catch it. The only problem is it's like a fish eye, so it's all warpy until it gets into the centre. Which don't look fantastic, but we'll see. But see what the footage looks like when I render it and I upload it, see what it all looks like. I'm experimenting, so um, things will be a little bit off, maybe things might be better, I don't know, I need your opinion on this vlog. Does the quality look better? Was it £600 worth spent? <laughs> Was it well spent, sorry? That's the plan. The plan is, that was well spent. Let's get back over into lane one. Car come up the slip road, but the one, yeah, I'm gonna beat him. So yes, today we started at quarter to three in the morning. 2.45, it's now nearly four o'clock in the afternoon. So that's a 13 hour, a 15 minute drive uh, working time so far. So by the time we get to the yard and we pack up, we'll probably be looking at 13 hours, 45. It's about normal for me, 13 hours. I think last week, 13 hours was the least I did, I think. Got a sneeze coming. <laughs> Bless me. Yeah, that's what I will say about the container work. It's very easy, very easy work. Drive A to B, mainly motorways. The places you deliver to are normally off the off a draw carriageway or off a motorway. So it's easy to find. Big spaces to reverse into. You've got plenty of spaces normally. I'll flash them out. So there's no tight corners, no tight yards like like Build Base and Travis Perkins and all of those yards that I was used to deliver to. No tight yards. The downside is there's longer hours, that's all. I get paid exactly the same amount of money, but I do work less in terms of physical labour, but uh, more in terms of hours. So like I said, I reg regularly pour 13 hour shifts, regularly. It's all right. I enjoy driving. So, all the hanging around is a bit annoying, but the driving makes up for it. So I'm happy with that. Do we need to get over? Nah, we should be all right. 14 minutes left of drive time, 13 minutes away from the yard. Anyway, I have no doubt that we will get to the yard and I'll see you when we get there. All right, so we're now in the yard. Uh, and we've got four more minutes left on the clock, so that's good. What we need to do now is try and park up. Normally what I've got to do is a little reversing maneuver to get in to a space. quite a tight, tight space. Not a lot of room forever to do this reversing. So what we need to do is park there, but facing the other way. So we need to spin round. And I think what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to put the GoPro on the mirror so you can see what I can see out the mirror. 
and hopefully you don't fall off. I bloody hope you don't fall off anyway. Yeah, it should be alright. Yeah, I've got cars either side of me as well. Well, car on the left. Yeah, I'm not going to make that. Need to straighten up a bit earlier. Ignore that noise, that's just the trailer. Right, that's step one done. Now we've got a reverse in there. Like I said, ignore the noises, it's just the trailer making the noise. I'm not actually hitting anything, honest. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm close to hitting things. Like this tractor unit to the left of me. There we go. Now we just need to straighten up and go as far back to those tyres as we can. But that's a relatively easy reverse because it's on the good side. You don't want to be doing that when it's on the bad side and by that I mean on the left. There we go. Anyway, let's take the card out. Yep, 4 hours 29 so Did not go over driving time. Excellent, that's good. Um, can you still see me? So now, we uh, just need to get all my kit together. Ugh. Let's take you off the mirror. At least you didn't fall off, that's good, isn't it? Uh, glad you didn't fall off. Now well, let's put you up there. Lights off. You fell. <coughs> yeah, no problem, Luke. Just throw a three hundred pound GoPro off your, ca off your cab. We're still recording. Nothing smashed, so that's good. Um, where were we? All right, that's right. We were getting the stuff, weren't we? Now let's close the window, in case you fall off again. And let's put you on properly. Ugh. Now don't fall off. Right, shoes off. Right, so what I'm doing now, I just need to get everything ready. Turn everything off. Um, tidy everything up because I'd rather everything was a bit tidy than come in tomorrow and everything be a bit messy so actually I just want to take all this off a sec because I just want to put my duvet on properly or a bit better at least 
Right, what do we need? We need my bag. We need to put the laptop in it. Like so. He says. And then we need the gadget bag. And we need to put stuff in the gadget bag, like this one. So you're now coming off. That's saved. Off you go. And then grab my phone. Let's put this back over here. So I know where it is. That's a rubbish bag. So I'm going to take that out. Pull that out in a sec. That can go off. Lights can go off. Right, so we're pretty much good to go. That's paperwork for tomorrow and that can all stay like that. Sod it. Let's make the place smell nice before I leave so it's nice and, nice and, uh, what's the word? Nice and nice. Why is that come off? Is that coming off? Nah, that's good. Right, so I'm just wabbling on now, and I? Um, all good to go. So, thanks for watching this vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please let me know if it looks better in terms of quality. 60 FPS for 80, uh, full HD 1080p. That's the word I'm looking for. So yeah, drive safe until next time. Bye-bye. See you later.